Hey, what's happening, y'all? And welcome back to Free Friday. Jason Ritchie here. Look, just finished a 13-hour, 13 13-hour 13 drive, right? Uh, we left uh, New Orleans at 9. PM, and we just got here at, uh, it's like 10 or something. AM. <laughs> and I am tired. And Free Friday is due tomorrow. But today's Thursday, but I need to sleep. And I'm a worried, I'm a worried. <laughs> I'm worried there won't be no free Friday but anyway check it out here it is so look I don't have much time so I want to talk to you about something it's it's, it's really it's not a harmonica lesson it's a music lesson it's a life lesson I want to talk to you guys about not being too hard on yourselves so like I read the comments, I read what you guys say, and like a lot of times I see that, you know, like you're comparing yourselves to me and that's natural or comparing yourselves to other people and, you know, and I, and you, and I, or I'm never going to get this or I've been trying this and I'm just never going to get this or I suck. And I see these kind of comments and, and look, you know, um, I want to, first of all, I want to say anybody that's watching this video, especially my channel, right? You know, my channel's got a lot of hard stuff on it. You know, some of the other channels, we don't need to name any names. <laughs> they, they cater to the guy that just got the harmonica that week. And they're, they're kind of, what do you want to call it? They're a little, they're a little, uh, they're a little fluffy. They're soft and nice and fluffy. And over here, we get into stuff. We get into chords, arpeggios. We have real talk like what we're doing today. And that doesn't make my channel any better. It's just the people that end up here are usually people that are really, really into this thing. And uh, that's not good or bad. As a matter of fact, you're probably in trouble. <laughs> if you're on my channel, you're probably in too deep. And you might be beating yourself up because you care about it so much, yet you can't seem to get it right. Well, I used a lot of this language myself. <clears throat> I, I suck. I'm never going to get it. Um, I'm bad at this. I'm bad at that. I'm no good at that. You got to stop with that. Now, look, <clears throat> here's the thing. You can't stop with that. That little voice in your head is human. Even as I was doing that little intro, I was thinking, oh, that was no good, or I should have tongue blocked that note. And you know, oh, I bet my tone sucks. Oh, I bet my tone is thin there, right? And like, you know, I was thinking all that kind of stuff too, you know? And it's like, hey, look, the actual thought of wanting to improve isn't bad. It's the language that we use. Man, I talk about this Lee Mack guy a lot, this cigar guy. He says, well, he says, today's going to be another great day. Why? Why is it going to be another great day? Because the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between a truth and a lie. So when you wake up in the morning, you might as well tell it something good. Well, let me tell you something else. Today is going to be another great day of playing harmonica. <laughs> Why? Because the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the truth and the lie. So you might as well tell it something good. Now, check it out, though. If you're on this channel, it's because you want to get better. If you're on this channel, it's because you have discriminating tastes, meaning you can hear the difference between a professional and yourself. That is good. We need, what is humility? Is humility saying that I'm no good or that I'm not good? It's not self-deprecation. Humility is the constructive use of the truth. I am not as good as I need to be. I am not as good as I want to be. Those, that's the kind of language we need to use. I talk a lot on this channel about reframing things. Like instead of looking at it as a scale exercise, you can look at it as a scale exercise, but let's make a game out of it, right? Looking at playing inside of a five note scale. 
it's hard to play inside of a five note scale because a lot of times, you, and I read this in the comments, like when I just did the pentatonic scale video, um, you know, I read in the comments that it says, oh, I'm having a really hard time not playing the other notes. That's the reason that we do it. You know, that's the reason that we, it's open, Kate's coming. That's the reason that we do it is to stay inside those notes. And when it's hard, right, that's the game, right? That's the game is the, instead of, is it hard? This sucks. Or is it hard? I'm never going to do it. It's hard. That makes it fun. That makes it challenging, right? That's what's so exciting about it is see these, I'm reframing it. Is it sometimes frustrating? Of course, right? Let's do it, right? Five note scale. <laughs> Right, so right, so now I'm gonna improvise. Let's give myself a tempo. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna make a mistake. That's not negative talk. That's gonna happen, right? But let's see how long I can do it, right, without making a mistake. Two, three, four. <laughs> Up oh, right there. Right there, flat five, the four draw bend. So one of the reasons we play in that scale is because it's hard and it's challenging. So that's a game to me. So instead of hitting that note, instead of making, I mean, instead of hitting that note and getting angry at myself, right? I might just try say to myself, well, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. <laughs> and just slow down and take that lick that I was having the problem with. Because that, on that lick, I want to go. That I want to put that bend in there. Right, and just take it out, right? So, and just, if I have to slow down a little bit, well then the fun part is I slow down until I can speed it up, right? So here's the thing. We're still going to do that. We're still going to say I suck. We're still going to get frustrated. We're still going to get mad. And here's the thing. What we want to do is just not entertain that. So I'm here to make this video so that not only will you catch yourself hitting a, a note that's not in the scale and go, ah, no, I don't want to do that. But when you start saying, I suck, I'm no good. Ah, there, there's that, there's that ego, right? Because the ego isn't just something that tells you you're great. It's also something that tells you you suck. You know, you, you I'm no good. I'm lousy, right? You know, that's also ego. You know, for example, I used to be real hard on myself when I was playing. Oh my God, you guys, you gotta see this. Oh, there's this giant buck, a deer in the middle of downtown Bloomington, Indiana. Hopefully he'll come back out and I'll get the camera. He went behind a bush. Crazy, right? So like, oh yeah, Kate sees him. She's got the pictures. Yeah, but anyway, like, Oh my God. Oh yeah. So it, like, like that bad note, right? Is the same thing as like that bad thought. But what we want to do is just catch that and go, ah, right. So what is that talking about? The ego. Yeah. Right. Right. The ego is also telling us that we're, we're, it doesn't just, when we think of ego, we think of people saying, oh yeah, man, like I'm amazing or I'm incredible. We don't think of it as I suck, but it is. Now check this out. So when I used to get off stage, you know, I was real hard on myself and, you know, I, I just felt like oh, I didn't play good and, you know, I was really lousy and sometimes fans would come up to me or just, you know, maybe not even fans, like just music people that were there. They go, hey man, really good on that harmonica. And I'd go, nah, man, that sucked. And like, that's a really mean thing to say to somebody that just told you something nice. Like, first of all, you're telling them they don't know what they're talking about. And maybe they felt it and maybe they really liked it. Maybe they really enjoyed it. They're not giving you lip service. They really enjoyed it. And then you come back and say something like that. Finally, this older guy, Mark Whittington, a guitar player out of Jackson, he told me, man, he goes, man, he goes, man, you got to learn to just say thank you. Just say thank you. Right. And he's like, and man, the other thing is, man, you didn't suck, man. You played good, man. Don't be so don't beat up on my friend. They used to say that, you know, don't beat up on my friend like that. So I'm here to tell y'all, don't beat up on my friends and you're all my friends. If you're here and you're learning and you're trying to get good, 
don't beat up on my friends. Now let's talk about the other extreme. We've talked about, I hate it, I suck or whatever. How about one more thing? How about let's talk about the ego on the other side? A lot of people, they don't stick around on my channel too long, right? A lot of people will say, oh man, I got it. Like, how does Juke go, right? Like, let's talk about the song Juke, right? How's it go? <laughs> right, it goes like that, right? There's cats that will tell you they can play Juke, and then you go, okay, play it for me, and they go. <laughs> it doesn't sound anything like it, right? But their ego is so strong, it can't let them hear what they're not doing right. And, they, and, then, and then if you tell them that it's different, they might say something like, well, oh, I have a different style or I'm playing from my heart, man. You know, I don't, I don't do things like that. And it's like, it's one thing if you can play it note for note and you choose to play it different. It's another thing if you're so delusional and you think you're so good and you can't do that. And it's like most of the time people that criticize John Popper and stuff, they can't do anything like that. And a lot, you know, like if they could, they think they can. And then you go, hey, man, play me. They're like, Popper sucks, man. That shit's easy. He's just blowing in and out. And I go, really? Because I've had a hard time figuring it out. And I, I go, yeah, man, play me some Popper. And they go like. <laughs> play me one Blues Traveler song that sounds anything like that. It's not like that. It's really, really, really hard. I can't even do a good imitation. It's not even good. It's not even close. It would help if my harp works. See, I'm going to blame the harp right now. But see, check this shit out, right? Part of my language. They think they can do it. They think they can do it and they can't do it. And in their ear, they actually hear it that way. When we think we're right and we're more concerned with being right than knowing the truth, it's really hard to hear the truth. It's really, really hard to hear the truth. One time that Bob Dylan song, Like a Rolling Stone, there's a line in there that says, "We, got, I had no, I, I'm invisible. You're invisible now. You have no secrets to conceal. So when I was listening to that song, I thought it was, you have no secrets to confuse. Now, I don't know what that, why I thought that it doesn't even make sense. So I was sitting with my dad during the brief time that I got to spend with my dad, you know, a couple years, you know, when I was like between 16 and 17, you know, maybe, maybe it was only a year. And we were listening to that song together and, he, and, and I said, I love that line. And he goes, he goes, which one? I said, we got no secrets to confuse. He goes, that's not what it says. And I said, yeah, it is. And, and, he, and he said, play it again. So I rewound the tape and I played it again. And I heard again, confuse. And I said, see? And he goes, no. It says conceal, Jay. Play it again. I played it again and I heard confuse. And then he said, are you, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I said, no, I'm not. I said, are you crazy? Can you not hear that? So play it again. And I played it again. And I heard it. You're invisible now. You got no secrets to conceal. Check it out. I got no secrets to conceal, y'all. I'm imperfect. Sometimes the shit I play is amazing. And sometimes... It it's not so amazing. I'm human and so are you. And guess what? Everything that I do wrong is an opportunity for me to do better. It's an opportunity. It's a game we're playing. Not just this harmonica either. Not just this. This whole thing. Everything hard you're going through, whether it's a scale exercise, arpeggio, a song, little Walter tune, little Walter lick, whether it's a fight with a family member, a separation, cancer, an illness, addiction, mental illness. This is an opportunity. It's an opportunity. And it's all about our perspective. And it's easier said than done. Look, I'm going to say this right now. And at some point today, I'm going to fail. 
that's an opportunity. <laughs> you know what? If nothing else, it's an opportunity for a little humility. I messed up. Why did I mess up? Is it because I suck? Is it because I'm a bad person? No, it's because I'm human. And that's an opportunity for me to ask for help. Ask for help. You know? And I don't have all the answers. Only one person has all the answers. And he's not a person. But whatever you want to call that person, that's what it is. <laughs> Make it do what it do, as Lee Mac says. Time to put these harmonicas away. Drive over to my sister's-in-law. We just drop off the cats. Thank you. This has been a beautiful free Friday. If I seem a little manic, it's I drove 13 hours, and I've had about five of these. I'm sober as a judge. Can't hold the phone. Sober as a judge and grateful to y'all very, very much. Love you very much. See you next free Friday.